in order to add all the features we need for our course, we're going to have to add many more verts to our mesh. Now there are two methods of doing this and I'll show you both. The first is to select terrain, vertex and the advert option. Nothing appears apart from an arrow. You don't really know you've got a, a tool in your hand which I find quite irritating at times when I have used the advert because I forget it's still selected and I click on things and I'm adding verts left, right and centre so beware of that. Uh, anyway, if I go in to one face here you'll see if I just click with the left mouse it's adding verts. What you will notice though is that it's creating chaos uh, with the edges. They're not in any sort of order now. It's caused all sorts of problems. Uh, if we were trying to create a wall line, uh, we put our row of verts in. The edges aren't showing the, the wall line at all. Uh, they're going all over the place. And this is where the edge turning comes in. And there's an awful lot of it if you get in situations like this. If I go to edge turn, uh, hopefully you've got a basic understanding now. I need to get this edge across to that point and that point. So I need to turn that and then turn that. And I want to now get this point attached to this point. So I need to turn that one and then that one and I need to get from here to here so I need to turn that one and that one and now we've got our line of edges going in the direction we want them now that's a lot of uh, turning and if we do that for 30 40 minutes I can guarantee it's going to crash on us so there is another way of adding verts that somebody discovered by using the Terrain Painter, which we were looking at a couple of videos ago. So we'll go to Terrain and Surface, select our Terrain Painter. And for this method, we need to set radius down to the minimum of a foot. The height to zero because we don't want to raise or lower the ground we just want to add verts and obviously so that we can add verts we need to tick the add density button and now if i click with the mouse rather than click and hold and use it like a paintbrush if i just click you'll see a verts added and i can click again and again and again and you'll see it's auto turning all the edges to line up with the previous ones. We can quickly just draw a lovely line of edges. It's fantastic. Uh, and it's the way pretty much all designers work these days. Uh, the one drawback to this method is if you move the brush slightly, as you click, you'll draw in more verts because it's going to paint them in. I've got three appeared here. So we can always just undo and click it again. And most of the time it'll be fine. But there are occasions uh, and why mm, really don't quite know but it's to do with the vicinity of other verts there'll be places where you try to add and no matter how still you hold the brush you can click it will paint in two three or four verts in the in the position instead of one 
you can delete them try again it will still do it you can move around slightly sometimes you might get lucky and by moving a few um, millimeters in a different direction you might get it to paint a single but most of the time it will just keep on annoying you and painting in multiple verts and these are going to have to be uh, removed you can either remove them straight away or leave it till the end get your edges in and then go around checking for along for double and triple verts and remove them we'll be uh, dealing with removing verts in the next video but the terrain paint is really the way to go uh, for most most jobs uh, I found once I learnt about the terrain painter I never even tried the advert uh, option which was a big mistake because it actually has its own uses as well uh, one of the things that the terrain painter method can't do because it's set to a foot it can't draw two verts closer than a foot together uh, it just wouldn't allow it so you'll find with the advert method if I go back to that we can add in incredibly uh, close verts we can do the most detailed work you could never do that with uh, the terrain painter method so it it and it does come in useful sometimes to be able to add verts very close to others it's quite good for removing and a simple way of removing shadows uh, that will form because of edges so keep in mind the advert is there and it's still got its uses uh, and I'll ring up a few of them I'm sure in later videos but for the most part the terrain paint is the way to go and you'll be setting that and using that the majority of the time when you want to adverts because it's far far simpler and quicker the one thing APCD doesn't do is remember the settings of the tools so when you come back in to a new session you'll have to go through the terrain painter and set it up again with with the settings so I'll just switch back to the surface and the painter and just remind you minimum radius zero height and the add density turned on 